everybody, it's Christine of Crafty Paws. I don't know if you remember, but uh, a while back, my hubby's uncle sent me a big box of beautiful vintage feathers. These are all from like the 1940s, and they were in the belongings of my hubby's grandmother who passed away last December. A lot of you know her because in the past I had hosted birthday card challenges for her when she turned 99 and then again 100 and just after her 101st birthday she passed away and his uncle thought that I with my crafting could use these feathers for something that we could all appreciate rather than just having them in a box uh, in storage. So he sent these to me and this is all that's left. The box was overflowing when I first got it and I wanted to share with you guys what I created. I went to Michael's when they were having a 60% off sale on all of their shadow boxes. And I picked up this large one, 30 inches by 40 inches, as well as a smaller one. And I had a couple of wood colored ones in my stash that I could reuse. So I decided to line the backs of them. They originally come with a black kind of faux velvety backing. And I actually had some linen colored fabric in my fabric stash from old Ikea curtains. And I lined the backs of all of the shadow boxes with those. And then I decided to first group some feathers together. The one on the left has a beige color, feathers in the background, two really gorgeous kind of peacock feathers that have an iridescent green quality, and then a bunch of shorter feathers that are all kind of bunched together. And I grouped that into a tall formation. Then the shadow box on the right has some feathers again, that have some really delicate feathering in the middle, some kind of flourishy feathers on the left and right, and then I combine that with another set that look kind of iridescent, black, kind of raven-looking feathers, and then a small little round cluster of feathers for the base. Then you'll see here, along with those two, I took that largest shadow box and just lined up a whole bunch of feathers either in bunches that I wrapped the base of with some black wired ribbon or that came in like a, a peacock one in the upper left or the teal one in the lower right. They were already kind of in these shapes, probably for millinery usage because my husband's grandmother used to work in a fashion house that specialized in beautiful hats. So I'm imagining that's what these feathers came from or were going to be used for. And then here in the last picture, you see how all of these shadow boxes are grouped together in a large display. And I really like how this came out. I think this pays homage to my hubby's grandmother. And I think everyone can really love and appreciate these gorgeous vintage feathers. I think any collection like this looks even more important and beautiful when they're grouped together in shadow boxes like this. I hope you guys will consider doing something like this if you have a collection that you want to kind of highlight and showcase. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day.